indices. Exam preparation examples part 2. You will find this on page 186 in the Namibia Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C part 1 grade 10 11. In the previous video, we were focused more on expressions. In this video, we are going to focus on equations. Okay, so exponential equations. It's almost like indices in the form of an equation. Okay, let's look at two, three examples. So example two, find the value of n when 5 to the power of n equals 1 over 1 to 5. So basically, let's just get my pen, I'm first going to take that and make that prime factors. And then if it's 1 and 5 to the power of 3, then I'm taking it up. And then it's going to be 5 to the power negative 3. And if the basis, if it's an equation and the basis are the same, I can go and put the indices equal to each other. I can equate to that. So then n is equal to negative 3. That's a simple one. Now let's go a little bit more challenging. If I look at one like this, so now this side I'm going to treat like an expression. I want to make it a bit bigger that you can see better. So basically, if the base is all the same, even if it's a number, I keep the base and I subtract, because it's division, the exponents, the indices. Then I take this to prime factors, which is 2 to the power of 5. And now, if the bases are the same, and it's this equals this, then I can say 12 minus k over 2 is equal to 5. So then I equate, can I show you, the indices. And now it's just an equation. So I take it over, this 5, I simplify, and you can just cross multiply, and you get that the value of k is 14. And then the final one, okay, now this is an interesting one. This is an equation, and you see a fraction in the exponent. Okay, so let's first get the equation that it's not 2p, but 1p. So you divide by 2, you divide by 2. Okay, okay. And now, to get rid of that fraction, I'm just going to multiply with the reciprocal. It must always be positive. So if it was negative, I will multiply with a negative in order to get it positive. So I focus on the positive. So I multiply with 3 over 1 on both sides. And if I do this, then 3 to the power of 3, that will be 27. And that's really also not so difficult. Um, I think if we go to A's level and we come to exponential equations, um, then the, it will be a more complex. But in, in ordinary level, it will be simple ones that you can expect. Okay, so I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now two. Number one, two, three, and four. And do it again like that. Do one, stop the video, check. Two, stop, check. Three, stop, check. Until you are done. Okay. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and then we can start doing that one. Okay, this is a short topic I, I did. It's only two videos in this topic. Okay, it's also not so many questions, but make sure it's score marks. You can get it correct. Okay. So I start with A. So it's 2 to the power 3 equals 4 to the power of B. Now, again, always that prime factors. So, first make it 2, 3. Then it's 2 to the power 2 and P. And as I said, I'm doing a few extra steps just that you understand. And now, if the bases are the same in its equation, then I can equate the top. So, I can say 3 equals 2P. I divide 2, I divide 2, and I get that the value of P will be 3 over 2, as easy as that. Okay. And then I go to the next one, number B, and let's just write it down. So 3 to the power negative Q, multiply 1 over 27 equals 81. Okay. So let's just simplify. Let's just make this one, one, ex the two, it's, it's almost like two. Let's get it just one single number. So make it three, negative Q. Uh, and then, okay, as, as I said, as I'm doing long. Really, you don't have to do so long. Okay, 81, 
Now let's just go. If I take 81 and I start dividing with 3, then I get 27, then 3, then 9, then 3, then 3, then 3, then 1. But it's going to be 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to get take this up. Okay, I should have done it already in the previous step, but it's fine. I'm going to do it now. As I said, you don't have to put so many steps. It's just for the video's sake. So it's multiplication. And what do I do with the exponents, the indices? I add it up. So it's almost like plus negative 3, but it becomes a negative 3. Okay. Okay, but it's still add. So now, if I this is 1 base equals 1 base. So I have negative Q minus 3 equals 4. So negative Q equals 4. 4 plus 3. So negative Q equals 7. So I divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, and I find that the value of Q will be negative 7. Okay, as easy as that. Now let's go to the next one. Let's just make space. Okay. And then I'm just going to do number two. So basically, uh, I just write it down. So 81 to the power 2 divide 3 to the power t equals 91. Now, can you remember um, we, we had 81? So we're just going to quickly refresh your memory. Can you remember what was 81? That was 3 to the power of 4. Okay, don't forget that too. Divide 3 to the power t. And now I'm going to, oh, is it, oh, it's not 91, it's just 9. Luckily I saw it, it was like 91. What prime factors is that going to be? Okay, it was just 9. I just copied it incorrect. So it's 3 to the power 2. Now let's just simplify this. So it's 3. So 4 times 2 is 8. If it's division, I subtract, and it's 3 to the power of 2. So now I equate, and I say 8 minus t equals 2. So 8 minus 2 is equal to t. So this is 6 is equal to t. So therefore, the value of t is equal to 6. Okay, that is number 2. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to number three. Find the value of x. So it's going to be 2. And then it's going to be x over 5 equals 1 over 32. Now, as I said, memorize a few of that ones. At 32, you always know it's 2 to the power of 5. So it's 2 x over 5, or just go to your prime factors as I showed you. So go just 32, and you start 2, and it's 16, and it's 2, and it's 8, and it's 2, and it's 4, and it's 2, and it's 2, and it's 2, and it's 1. So it's 2 to the power of 5. So it's 1, uh, oh, let's just get my color correct. Uh, it's 1 over 2 to the power of 5. So 2, x over 5 equals 2 to the power of negative 5. Because remember the negative index, I bring it up. And now, the bases are the same, it's equal, so equate the indices. So it's x over 5 equals negative 5. Then put it over 1, and I cross multiply, and I get that the value of x is negative 25. Okay. And now we're going to check if we do the next one. Okay, the final one. Okay, so let's do that. I did that one a bit different. I, I'm checking now. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting a little bit, and I check, and I see I did that one, uh, the previous one a bit different. So basically what I did, and I want to show you, so that you, maybe I'll just show you, that you can also do it with, with this principle, which I showed you here. So it's x over 5 
and then it was uh, 32, okay? But let, then it was, say, okay, let's just 1 over 32. So it's 2. Then it's x over 5 equals 1 over, okay, let's, we, we already we went through that step. I don't think we have to do that again. So it is going to be, let's just get that correct. It is 2 to the power negative 5. Now what I did here, but it's as I said, <laughs> but just for the interesting, I want to show you. So you could have also said, okay, if I multiply with 5 over 1, you see that I just have x. So it's almost, it's 1 fifth, and I multiply with 5 over 1, and I multiply with 5 over 1, and then I'm getting that 2, then, yeah, it's actually longer, because then I get 2x equals 2 negative 25, and then I said that the value of x is negative 25, but doesn't matter, as long as you come to the answer. Okay, let's do the final one in this video, and that will be number 4. This is a nice one. I like it if it's a little bit complicated for ordinary because you have the technique. You can do that. We're just going to follow it. Okay, 2y minus x. And now this is a bit more, as I say, difficult because they say find the expression uh, for y in terms of x. So make y the subject of the formula. Okay, but let's start. So I have 3. I have 2x minus 1. Then I have, this is 3, 3 to the, okay, let's just say it's 1 and it's 3 to the power 2 and then it's that x. Multiply 3, 2y minus x. Sorry, I'm doing that long step again, but just for the video's sake. So it's 3, negative 2x. Do you see? Multiply 3, 2y minus x. Now, first make this 1. Base. So it's 2x minus 1 equals 3, negative 2x plus 2y minus x. And now I have 1 base equals 1 base. So it's 2x minus 1 equals negative 2x plus 2y minus x. Okay. Now, they said y must become the subject, so take the rest over. So, 2x minus 1 plus that 2x plus x equals 2y. So, 2x plus 2, so this is 4 plus 1, so it's going to be 5x minus 1, and that is going to be equals to 2y. And now I want y alone, the subject, so I divide 2, divide 2. And if I just swap that, no, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit long in this video. Okay. And, and that's going to be y. So, or otherwise, I will end by saying, and I'm going to make it red. So y is equal to 5x minus 1 over 2. So I've, I reckon this as a difficult one for ordinary level. But you have the technique to do one like this and then as I said I'm just always ending showing you if you don't have your hard copy please go and buy your own hard copy and don't copy other textbooks I'll make a video on that I'll come to that uh, so basically then just here is the bookshops and I always say just first phone and find out who is having stock and then for the teachers plan for next year that you have a good 2024 so I'm just always showing you that all the textbooks from grade 8 to grade 12 A is level they are all on the NEET catalog so teachers you can order from your school budget textbooks for next year and this is also one that I'm showing to the schools and I'm just showing them that bulk orders if you want to you can we from us as publishers you can just write us a mail and we even give discount to bulk orders if schools order them okay and that's enough info for this video